Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. So the Devils had an impressive victory over the Detroit Red Wings tonight. Um, we lost to them in our home opener. Uh, the Devils, we were looking to see how they would rebound from that tough loss to the Washington Capitals, and the boys played well. Um, you know, you saw the lineups entering the game, and they were kind of uh, another one of those head scratchers. Uh, you saw Tatar on the first line with Heischer and Zetterlund. You saw Hala on the left wing of Hughes and Bratt. Uh, Sharon Govich was on the third line with Mercer and Holtz. And Wood was on the fourth line with McLeod and Bastion. And we heard that Palat was injured, so that's why there was all these uh, lineup changes. And they wanted to change stuff up from the, the previous uh, loss to the Washington Capitals. So, you know, I like the way this team played tonight. I really do. A lot of big, big names stepped up and... Um, I also want to talk in this video about Jesper Bratt because he's really rising up the ranks of being just one of those great players to watch. Um, and he's atop the league leaderboard. So I want to talk about that and what he could possibly be earning on his next contract. So stay with me throughout. This should be a fun video. So, um, you know, looking at the game tonight, the Devils outshot them another team, 41 to 22. Uh, block shots, 13 to 11 in favor of the Devils. Uh, but they were out hit 16 to 29. Uh, looking at the players who really stood out tonight, Brad had two goals and an assist. Uh, Jack Hughes had a goal and an assist. Dougie Hamilton with two assists. Ryan Graves with two assists. Mercer had a goal and Sharon Govich had a goal. So you know the goal scoring with the Devils started off with um, you know Dawson Mercer uh, ripping in a one timer that another great pass from John Marino and you know game in game out this kid is really impressing me. When I saw that trade go down with for Ty Smith, I really like this trade. I, I knew it was going to be a good thing for the Devils. You're getting a solid right-handed physical defenseman with good ter with good term, and he's looking like he's worth every single minute of playing for the Devils. He's a physical defenseman, but now you're seeing him evolve into smart decision making out there, and he's piling up the assists. So I really like what John Marino offers this team. Um, you know, game in, game out. You're hearing the analysts really talk him up and just saying how great he is, and you're seeing it on the ice. So I really like this trade, and, uh, you know, Marino's being a big factor for us early on. Uh, the second goal was, um, you know, Jack Hughes chipping in uh, that that just shot in, the, in front of the net with a brilliant pass from Jesper Bratt. Um, the third goal was kind of reverse, where uh, Dougie Hamilton made a nice play to Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes with a great pass to Jesper Bratt. He one-timed it in. Uh, fourth goal, Sharon Govich skating down on a two-on-one, just absolutely ripped that wrist shot top cheddar. And, um, you know, I just love seeing Sharon Govich shoot. I, I just, especially with this goal, they, they, there was a lot of shots online of it in slow motion. And just to see that puck whip off the stick, um, you know, this, this kid knows how to shoot. And, um, you know, that, that thing just went straight to the top. It was just a hell of a shot. So um, I want to see Sharon Govich hit the 30 goal mark this year. So keep it up, Sharon Govich. Keep shooting. You will score. Um, then uh, Nico scored on a great play by Tomas Tatar. The puck was kind of sitting in uh, Nico's skates. He spun around and uh, got the puck past uh, Nadelkovic. And then, um, you know, Jesper Brad skating down the wing just ripped home a wrist shot top shelf. So our big name players stepped up tonight. And, um, you know, also Zetterlund uh, was inserted in the lineup. I thought he had a great game. He had a couple of opportunities to score. Um, Halla played good on the left side with, uh, of Jack Hughes and Jesper Brad. He had a couple of opportunities and I hope he can really get off his schneid and score a goal. Cause he's really peppering, you know, he's getting shots, uh, whenever he can. And, um, you know, sooner or later they will start going in, but you know, the team looked good. I like the way they played all around. Congratulations to Vitek Vanacek on his first, uh, win as a New Jersey devil. First of many, hopefully. <laughs> and, um, you know, the team just played well. And, um, you know, looking at, Jesper Bratt, he had another hell of a game, putting up three points. And right now, he's sitting tied for a league lead with 12 points in seven games played. Uh, three goals, nine assists. Those nine assists, he's top. He's number one with on the assist board in the NHL. And, um, you know, he's just having a sensational year. You know, Jesper Bratt is just turning into be one of those gems that we got in, in a late round. And, um, you know, this kid can do it all. And, you know, this year is another show-me year. He had a uh, $5.45 million contract for this year. It expires at the end of the year. He's still an RFA, but, you know, this is going to be a tough decision for the Devils. You know, I know they want to keep him around long term. Fitzgerald has been very adamant in saying that. Um, Jesper Bratt wants to stay with this team. He wants to stay long term with this young core. 
you know, he's got a tight relationship with, with um, Nico Heischer and all the young players, you know, so I do believe they both want to, they both want to stay in Jersey. Fitzgerald wants him, the team wants him, and Bratton wants to stay. You know, just question is, what's the dollar amount going to be? You know, you're seeing Nico at 7.25 right now. Uh, you're seeing Jack Hughes at 8, uh, AAV. You're seeing uh, Dougie Hamilton at 9. So I think it's definitely going to fall in between that range. I don't think it's going to be at the 9s. I think it's possibly going to be a, little, a shade under what Nico's making. And, um, you know, it's going to be for a long term of 8 years. So, you know, my guess is it happens mid-year. I think Fitzgerald will not want to wait and see what happens again, like what happened last summer. I think it's something that they're going to iron out during the year. And it's going to be a max term contract for a little bit. Of, I, I say either seven times eight, or it's going to be a little over seven a year for eight years. So, um, you know, and I'd be happy with it. Uh, Jesper Bratt brings a lot to this tape, to the table for the New Jersey Devils. He can play up and down your lineup in any situation. He's got blistering speed out there. He's got a hell of a shot. Uh, he's a great teammate, a great player. Um, you know, I'm sure he's good in the community. He seems like a good, humble kid. And, you know, you're seeing little differences in his gameplay. You know, especially tonight. There was one play where he was bringing the puck up the ice. And old Jesper Bratt would have just easily just chipped it in or tried to stick handle around the guy. This time, he kind of made a move. Knew that he didn't have the defenseman beat. Chipped it, chipped it past him and just skated around him with speed and beat him. So... You're seeing different elements to what Jesper Bratt does, the way he's skating out there, the way his um, his hockey sense is evolving, and this kid's going to be a hell of a player. You know, do I think he's going to be league leader all year? I, I don't I don't think so, but he's going to be up there. I think he's definitely going to put up uh, similar points to last year, definitely uh, more than he did. I think it's just the way the team is going to evolve, and, you know, a lot of players are producing. He's going to have a better year than last year, so I can't wait to see what happens uh, I hope uh, something can get ironed out during the year because usually when the contracts are done mid-year, it's a lot less than it would be if it's signed during the summer. So if it goes to the last hour during the summer. So hopefully it can get done. But, you know, the boys are playing well. I, I know we lost the last game. But, you know, you're seeing a lot of fight with this team this year. A lot of competitive spirit. And, um, you know, they're playing well. Uh, so I like what they're doing. Keep it up, boys. Another tough match ahead, so comment below what you think about this. What do you think about the victory tonight? What do you think Jesper Brad will earn on his next contract with the New Jersey Devils? Comment below and let me know. And thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button if you haven't done so. And subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. It's free. And join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great night. Take it easy. Stay safe.